Can a druid who is wild shaped into an ape cast spells that only have somatic components, e.g., thunderclap? The question https colon slash slash rpg dot stack exchange dot com slash questions slash six five 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 four slash can dash a dash druid dash use dash a dash focus dash to dash cast dash beast dash spells dash while dash in dash while dash shape is related, but does not deal with somatic only spells, they only say no due to lack of access to verbal or material components. The druid's wild shape feature states you retain the benefit of any features from your class, race, or other source and can use them if the new form is physically capable of doing so. Can a druid who is wild shaped into an ape cast spells that only have somatic components? For example, the thunderclap spell only lists s under components. My logic, ape has hands equals can clap. Hashtag not until level 18 hash. Wild shape's third bullet point is quite clear. You can't cast spells. A druid that shifts into wild shape can't cast any spells, regardless of their VSM components. This includes spells from innate spell slots, scrolls, and other magic items which state that they enable the wielder to cast a spell. A DM may choose to ignore this rule, but as written, the form of a druid's wild shape has no bearing on its ability to cast a spell. This changes later on. At level 18, druids get the beast spells feature. Beast spells. Beginning at 18th level, you can cast many of your druid spells in any shape you assume using wild shape. You can perform the somatic and verbal components of a druid spell while in a beast shape, but you aren't able to provide material components. This allows any, all druid wild shape forms to cast V, S, or V, S spells. A druid still doesn't get to cast spells with a material component until level 20. Archdruid. Additionally, you can ignore the verbal and somatic components of your druid spells, as well as any material components that lack a cost and aren't consumed by a spell. You gain this benefit in both your normal shape and your beast shape from wild shape. So, finally, at level 20, a druid may be an ape or, or other beast and cast a spell that has a material component, so long as that material doesn't have a cost associated with it and isn't consumed by the casting of the spell, the spell would indicate if either of these were the case.